Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here in the studio. It's been a while since you've seen this, huh? Actually, I did go out to the boardwalk today. It is sunny and 80-ish. It's gorgeous. The boardwalk was packed, the beach packed. And I managed to find a parking space and I ended up calling my sister and sitting in my Forerunner for like an hour talking to her. All that made me not realize how not charged my Rode Wireless Go mic stuff was. So by the time I actually went out to go film, I, ha I had no power. While I was able to record a little bit, I was very antsy about running out of power and I didn't want to get into anything and just have it shut off. So I said, fuck it, I'll just go back and I'll film in the studio, which I haven't done in a long time. A couple of things that I have noticed about the framing in here and I don't know how this happened because I don't move anything but this light right here and you can see how how bright my hand gets when I move it towards that it somehow started being in the shot and this light right here also started being in the shot so I tried to to maneuver this thinking maybe I maybe I tapped the overhead thing and it made it come into sh Either way, I don't know why the hell it got in there. So I just moved shit around again. And as far as looking at the Ninja, I, I do not see any of those Aperture MC lights in the frame anymore. I think everything looks decent. I haven't done this in a while, so I, I didn't realize it until after I shot entire videos and then got it into Final Cut and was like, oh, damn it, the light's in the shot. So this time I did think about it and I tried to fix it. So hopefully it's really not in the shot. And it shouldn't be because I should be able to see what's in the shot. How many times can I say shot? Anywho, it has been an interesting couple of weeks, few weeks, whatever. I have been like attached to this A7R4. It goes with me pretty much everywhere. And if you've followed along and you've gone to my other social media, you will see all the pictures that I'm getting. It has been a hell of a learning curve over the time that I've had it because I, like I said before, I think I forgot how to be a photographer. Everything for me was looking through a videographer's eyes, which was opposite because for so long I was a photographer and I couldn't grasp the difference of how I needed to see things and do things for video rather than still. Now I'm trying to keep them both up. You will also have noticed that basically I have been shooting with my Insta 361R on the 4K module for pretty much all of my walking vlog type stuff and, and even other things simply because of the fact that this thing is so big and heavy and, and I've got the 24 to 70 on it. When I put that 100 to 400 on it, it is very, very heavy. In fact, I was fairly miserable last night after spending the entire day birding and also carrying the tripod and, and whatever the hell else. So it, it has been an adjustment and I've had to get used to what I bring with me and what I don't bring with me. And because I'm bringing this A7R4 with these heavy ass lenses, it's made me rethink all the other shit that I have in my man bag because it's it's heavy. It, it's, it's becoming uncomfortable to carry all that stuff and I don't think I need to. I have a lot of stuff in that bag because I'm that's just how I am. I stuff everything in there on the off chance that I might need it and 99% of the time I don't need it. So I think it's time to sort of strip down to the smaller bag for the summer and it, at the very least for the summer and just stop carrying so much shit with me because I don't need to. It's been like that where the past few weeks has all been an adjustment. As I try to get used to being a photographer again, I have, as I've mentioned, and if you've looked, I have redone my Instagram so that I have what used to be the Devious Monkey is now CJ Maziar's, and that's my personal shit. And then I created the Devious Monkey, the underscore DVS underscore monkey for my photography and pretty much every shot that's gonna go on there is going to be done with this A7R4 and whatever lens I happen to be using depending on what I'm doing. Right now, all that's in there are the, the nature-y shots with the exception of my wife who happens to be in nature because we were at the botanical gardens but I haven't shot with a single model yet. The girl that, that I have been back and forth with is still in a considerable amount of pain so we did not meet up on Friday. That'll happen when it happens. And I 
in going through my Instagram, the new Instagram, I went through and I followed a bunch of photographers, a bunch of, you know, gear companies like Sony and Sigma and Aperture and all that kind of stuff. But last night while I was laying on the couch, I started going through and finding other people a little more local. So I started following uh, Virginia Beach models, some models and some photographers, hoping to sort of, I don't know, build a network. And I haven't contacted anybody, but I at least started following them on Instagram and looking at their stuff and just seeing what people are doing around here and hope to sort of get busy doing that. Now, of course, when I'm ready to do all this shit with my company stuff changing, I don't know what kind of time I'm going to have. But again, I'm going to look at it as new worlds to conquer because I'm going to be going to a bunch of new places that I haven't been to or it's been a long time since I've been there and take that for what it's worth. So I will start sort of, once I know I'm gonna be back on the road anyways, I'm gonna start mapping things out and seeing about contacting models in those areas that I'm going to be in and see if I can't set up some photo shoots while I'm on the road. And just sort of, just more practice, more getting out there and kind of go from there. Otherwise, I think I've got a grip on all the gear. I have, I have used every bit of gear now that I've got, including the, the Flash, the Godox the AD 200 Pro. I have been using the background to, to take shots and to practice other stuff. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more, I'll say, selfie type things. You know, I only have me as a model. That's gonna help me really understand my gear and posing and placement and so on and so forth. So if I can get it right with me running back and forth and making sure all is right, then I shouldn't have much of a problem doing it when I have a model sitting there and I can concentrate just on the, the gear. It's all in theory, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to now, I'm just like schwitzing and, and I had to turn the fan off so that it doesn't show up on the, on the footage. But again, it's like 80 something degrees and I'm just roasting ass hot. Now I got to start laundry in my office day and so on and so forth, but I do have an idea for a shot I want to take today. So that means I need to go into the other room and get all that shit set up. But I wanted to do this first just to get it done. Everything is moving forward as best as it can. I am happy with the progress. I'm certainly thrilled that I have all this new gear to help me, you know, usher all that in. Now I just need to do the legwork to start setting up photo shoots. And I keep saying that every time and, and I am doing that, but everything is, you know, one step at a time so that I'm doing it right. And that's pretty much it. So it's uh, a little after four and I gotta get cracking because I got a lot of shit to do. So if you have any comments or questions or suggestions for anything, as always, leave them down below. Thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.